myself. I've been doing everything and a little bit of nothing. Probably a balance of everything and nothing. What I mean by that is I've been really, really busy and then I have uh, just downtime, just where I'm not doing anything at all. And I guess in a situation or in, with the times that we're in, it's that's kind of good for the brain. You have to have some time to ground yourself, regroup, and go at it again. And that's what I've been doing uh, so I don't drive myself batty. Um, I've been working on my new album. I'm working on a new album called Nacreous. And Nacreous is uh, an instrumental album. And that album will be coming out next month. Um, yeah, coming out in May. And I've been working on it for quite some time, on and off, in between my albums with vocals. But um, this is something, an album that I've wanted to put out for some time. I originally intended to put it out in the fall, but um, I'm going to go ahead and release it now because we're in somewhat of a somber, melancholic uh, period right now, so I think it'll be befitting. And um, Nacreous is made up of 11 to 12 tracks, some rhythmic songs or some rhythmic tracks, but then again, most of them are more moody, mood-driven and visceral. I wanted it to be more atmospheric, especially with, with the title. Um, of the album because it, it really wasn't about any uh, person or place or thing. It was more about feeling and mood and uh, so it's, it's really good for meditative, uh, you know, if you're in a meditative mood, it'll be good for that. If you want to do your yoga to it, it'll be good for that. If you want to just read, have that in the background, it'll be good for that. So. Nacreous, that's going to be coming out. And then in between, I'm doing some illustrations for a book that I'm working on. And I've, met, I've done some talk about it before in another video, so I'm not going to bring that up now until another video where I can actually just show you what I'm doing. So I'm not all talk and I've got something to show for it. There's another project, music project, that I'm working on to finish up. And it'll be coming out later, probably uh, midsummer, late summer, between summer and fall. And that's going to be Peekaboo and the Fun Cats. And that is a, a retro, kind of retro 80s type album. And uh, kind of a quirky Brit pop type album, influenced by your classic uh, sounds and bands from the 80s like the Pesh Mode, um, Simple Minds, um, Human League, so many other bands, but just that you know backbeat, driving 80s type of type of sound. So that'll be really fun. Also, that's something I'm looking at, uh, looking forward to putting out. And like I said, it'll be out a little bit later. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing in the meantime, and in between, in my. I said everything and nothing. My downtime, a lot of people meditate when I find myself doing most of the meditating. When we're in love. I wish I I'm resting. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of uh, resting. I'm sleeping a lot also. I mean, for somebody that sleeps on the average of four to five, no more than certainly no more than five and a half hours a night. I've been, I've been putting in my overtime with rest and sleep, which at first I felt a, a bit guilty about because I tend to uh, mentally flog myself for, you know, for sleeping, oversleeping or sleeping long, like, oh, get up, lazy bones, you, you know, get up, you gotta get some work done. And Recently, I've just been feeling like it's good for me, especially with the fact that I, I really can't uh, go to and fro. Not that I really do that a lot or do that often, but it's uh, when you find that even your local corner store or something is closed, and, you know, your, your cleaners or those type of things that you 
doing a routine, those things are closed for now. There's no, really no need for me to venture out. I'm doing more ordering online, and that way I can occupy my mind when I do put it back to, uh, I guess, work mode. I can, I can occupy my mind uh, in a more, I guess, more tunnel vision, more channel, if that makes any sense. And so I'm in between the, the work, 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 there's been sleep, rest, just kind of relax even and have snacks and uh, watch movies. But more so than that, and just entertaining myself, I spend this rest time just kind of uh, doing nothing. So whatever comes to mind, if, if they're new thoughts, or something creative, I will put them to use. Or if it's uh, just to reflect on what I've done and say, do I really want to put it out that way? Or do I really want this to look like that, this, or sound like this, or be written like this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's that's the kind of stuff that I'm going through, and I think it's, it's helping me. Uh, oh, and taking hot bubble baths, really long ones. Yeah, I've got to uh, get over the over the hump of feeling like I'm doing something wrong. You know, when it's time to relax, because it does do a body good and it also does a mind good. I've also recently been interviewed by Art Call, which um, is an online magazine, and they also represent visual artists, and they're currently representing me and. I will try to leave a link when that interview comes out. I'll have a link below this video so you can go and check that out. Um, speaking of art, I'm going to be doing some uh, of these talk videos where I choose a few pieces or maybe just one piece, depending. I'm going to try to share with you what I've painted, and the subject matter, you know, the medium I painted it in, and um, tell you a little bit more about the piece besides just the, you know, face value of the piece. So, it'll give you insight on the piece. I also think it will kind of introduce my, my work to people that don't know me as a visual artist, may know me more musically. And I'll be doing the same thing with my music, people that know more about my visual art. I will spend some time uh, describing maybe a song that I've just written or one from a, an album that I've done a while back and uh, or recorded a while back, even if it's a single. And I'll do it also with my, my uh, literature, um, from the children's books to the books I write from Monte Cristo as well. I think that way, even though it sounds like all over the place, it's still coming from one person, one body. Uh, one head, one brain. I want to be able to kind of introduce that because I've been told by my friends or people that are close to me, a lot of people don't know what it is that you do. And I, I think, well, that's nuts. Sure they do. Um, meaning the people that know my name know and have seen my work or heard my work. But I started to realize that it's true. A lot of people don't know, know me as the artist, and a lot of people don't know me as the musician, and a lot of people don't know me as the writer. They may know me as one of those three things I mentioned, but not the other two. So I'm going to try to simultaneously kind of corral that all together uh, in these talks. So. That way people have a more sound idea of what I'm doing. Um, sure, they may think at first, like, wow, he's all over the place. And a lot of people think that's not necessarily good. But I've been this way all my life. And that is the best way for me to truly be me, be myself, and to truly express my, not just creativity, but truly express what it is that I've got to say, what I've got to get out. So it's um, it's not um, in, a, in a way of saying, hey, look at me, look at me. It's, 
I have to do it. I, I have to do it. I hear music, so I have to compose it. I hear music, so I have to perform it. I have to sing it. I see paintings, so I have to, I have to paint them. I have to not just paint them, I have to put music to them. So, and, and the same thing, I see sounds and I, I have to paint it uh, uh, musically and, and visually. So uh, that's just been something that, that I've had to do all my life, uh, express in those three different facets um, in a keen way. Um, I'm fortunate enough to say that I can do that. A lot of people may want to and find, find it uh, a bit of a struggle, uh, but it's something that comes not just naturally for me, but it's, it's something that, that just comes. So I kind of have to get it out, you know? Yeah, so that's, that's what I want to start bringing together so it makes more sense uh, for you and other people. Um, also, I've got uh, two new music videos that I am currently working on, uh, working on that uh, I'm not sure when I'll be releasing them, but I will say that um, they're going to be fun. Um, I've got one video that's going to be coming out that uh, is from my Songs for Doe album, and another video that's my articles in the Seller album, and actually there are three. So one from Songs for Dope, one from Articles in the Seller, and then a new one from the album that I really have just gotten into development with, and that's called Bless in the Masquerade, and that will come out much later. But um, yeah, it's going to be fun. So. When those videos come out, um, I hate to be one of these people that says, you know, be sure to turn that notification bell on and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, if you are checking out my videos, please subscribe to my channel and uh, turn the notification bell on so you do get notified when these videos do come out. Because I'll, I really want to put out a whole bunch of material, uh, new material for you to enjoy. So. Yeah. Anyway, please take good care of yourself in this time and um, just try to be good to yourself as well. Give yourself some downtime so you can, you can think and can uh, kind of acquiesce and reassess. It's good for you. It's good for the mind. I mean, it's good for the body. And it's good for the mind. So, anyway, thanks so much for checking out my channel. Hope to see you next week. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.